Hi there, David Schaefer with Featherman Equipment. I'm really excited today to introduce you to the plant in the box. This is an entire poultry processing plant inside a 40-foot shipping container. We really love the concept of the shipping container. For number one, it's a recycled product. Number two, it's extremely strong and durable. They're made to stack eight high on ocean liners. Number three, it's the perfect space for our needs. Uh, number four is we can completely outfit this, ship it on site, and have it plugged in and ready to go within a couple of hours. And probably the best feature is the cost. We can produce this complete poultry processing unit for less than half the cost of bricks and mortar. And there's one final thing. If you set it on a, on a foundation without nailing it down, without uh, fastening it down, it's a temporary structure and it's not taxed. Let's take a look inside. We've done everything we can to make this as efficient as possible. And the first order of business is to make cleanup very efficient. We've made, made it so that all cleanup can be done with a power washer. All the walls are coated with a uh, state-of-the-art uh, coating, something like the strength of a truck bed liner, if you can imagine that, combined with a hospital clean environment. This is an FDA-approved product. And it's top to bottom, all the sides, so there's no seams. Another thing we've done is we've insulated it all four sides and ends so that it can be a very comfortable environment that's easily modified and easily regulated to keep the workers happy. So we have a heating and cooling unit, we have a lot of ventilation, we have a fan, and we have a, um, a lot of uh, good lighting and natural lighting. All right, let's talk about the work um, sequence. So a trailer will be backed up to here. And the crates will be stacked like this. Pull the chicken out of the crate. We'll put them in the kill cone stand. We have a four foot diameter kill cone stand here that's very efficient. If you can get a shot of the chamber for the uh, severing of the carotid artery, that's done here. Then the chicken is moved down the line. Another one is done. The blood drains. It's all contained. No splash on walls or floors. Very easy cleanup. All the blood goes down into a five gallon bucket below. And we have enough space for 18, 18 birds. So we have plenty of bleed out time ahead of our skull. Bleed out can take as much as two minutes and scald one minute. Here we have the scalder and we've introduced a wonderful new innovation that we're really excited about. The line is our tub scalder. We've been working on this innovation for years and we really like what we've come up with. Now within a two foot by two foot footprint, just a 40 gallon scalder, we can scald eight birds at a time. This is unheard of, and we really love it. Not only that, I'll show you a close-up here. Just by taking out two bolts here and two bolts on the opposite, I can remove these panels and turn this into a turkey scalder. So we're very versatile. We can scald quail up to turkeys right in one unit. We really love that. From here, we go into the plucker. I'm not going to turn it on because it's 220, and I'm not wired for that yet. But the plucker now has another innovation. Um, we can put eight birds in here, and we turn it on with a waterproof foot pedal switch that uh, is on a, set on a timer, so it's a set amount of time, and it also turns the water on and off. Once out of the plucker, and by the way, the feathers on the water all get out of the unit, keeping it, keeping it really clean. We'll show you that elsewhere. And here's where the feathers come out. Now, when the, when the birds are all plucked, we hang them up on shackles. And we send them through the see-through door into the clean room, where they're going to be eviscerated. Let's go take a look at the clean room. We've set up the clean room so that there are a lot of workstations available. Um, we're planning on anywhere from two to up to eight people working on this 14-foot overhead line, which is not automated, strictly manual. These uh, water nozzles, by the way, are operated with one hand, and they are quick connect, so any of them that we're not using, we can set aside, and they won't be in the way. So we love the idea of the, the evisceration shackles. Not only is the uh, worker's back um, much more protected working like this rather than working over a table, but gravity helps us with our operation, and there's no cross-contamination. 
We think it's uh, faster and more efficient. So the good news down the line, evisceration, um, entrails go in the gray, hearts and liver get kept here, inspector looks it over here, at the end of the line, the bird is uh, checked for quality control, comes off the shackles, gets tucked, and into the chill tank. After the birds are chilled down, we take the drying rack, which is hanging here, and use the chill tank as a tabletop, pull the birds out, and let them dry there. After the birds are dry, then they're shrink bagged, and they're put on shelves on, on this uh, rolling cart. We can put about eight birds on each one of these, each one of these uh, shelves. And we have back here, if you want to come take a look, a little cooler. This is a four foot deep cooler. And here's how it works. I will pull the rolling cart in, and turn it, and then slide the shelf to its corresponding shelf in here. And you'll notice that with six feet of space here that each one of these shelves um, takes up a quarter of it. So I can get four to a shelf. So we have eight birds per tray, four to a shelf, 32 birds per shelf for an average bird, 10 shelves, 320 birds for storage on the shelves, and then we have space in front of it that's equal to that. This is all cooled by a cool box system. So this has been customized to be a cooler, but this could also be a freezer. It could also be a restroom and an inspector's office. But let's recap the economics and the efficiency of this unit. The front end is capable of producing 200 birds per hour with two operators. With enough skilled operators on this line, that rate could be continued. In a four or five hour morning, as many as 1,000 birds could be put out through this unit in one day. There would have to be a little more um, chill storage than you see here, but it's possible. 1,000 birds a day, 100 days, that's 100,000 birds put through this unit in a year. Let's just say these birds sell for $15 each, which is probably below market for an inspected bird. That's one and a half million dollars of economic gross revenue added to the community through this unit, which costs a fraction of it. In addition to that, this unit can be used as an FDA approved kitchen if it is um, receiving dual inspection from both USDA and FDA from the outset. So chicken soup or pound cakes or something else could be produced out of this unit in the off season, making it a super effective and efficient economic generator. Okay, we're done. Let's go get the power washer and clean this thing up.